So life cycle of esophagostomum columbianum, life cycle is direct there as there is no involvement of intermediate host. The adult male and female will be found in their predilection site that is in large intestine and the female parasite will lay eggs and these eggs will be passed through the feces and within six to seven days at optimum temperature there will be development of L3 in the environment and this L3 will migrate to the tip of the grass blade. Final host will be infected uh, after having this L3 with the grass and when this uh, grass reaches to the small intestine the L3 stage will exceed there and penetrate in the wall of the intestine and they will migrate to the migrate in the wall of the intestine and as a result there will be an inflammatory response finally this will lead to the development of nodule in the wall of the intestine and within this nodule there will be a molting that is from L3 to L4 stage will be occurred in the nodule as these nodules are sometimes separated so the L4 state will continue their migration throughout the uh, intestinal wall and they will produce new nodules throughout the intestine and meanwhile some of the L4 states will find their way to the lumen of the large intestine and in the large intestine that is in the lumen of the large intestine there will be another molding L4 to L5 finally they will become adult parasite and for the completion of this life cycle it takes around six to seven weeks